Hi, welcome to the World Gut Project. My name is Carrie. This is all about being vegan with irritable bowel syndrome and dealing with that with the low FODMAP diet. So today is a what to eat in a day video, except I'm also reintroducing or challenging garlic. So you might know that the low FODMAP diet protocol basically involves a few weeks of eliminating all medium to high FODMAP um, foods. Then you test individual FODMAPs at varying amounts to see your personal tolerance level. Building up to today, I've had a good sort of three days, no symptoms, feeling really good, being very careful about what I was eating, which means now when I do eat some garlic, I'll know it is actually that quarter clove portion that's triggered my symptoms although hopefully not. And I've made an effort to have some interesting food and I've filmed the cooking process, so there's some good recipes in there for you as well, which are low FODMAP and vegan. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can check in with you at the end of the day and, um, and say I was fine, because I miss garlic so much. <laughs> So I was up quite early this morning and I had a relatively quick breakfast with just some stewed strawberries on sourdough toast. So I just basically chopped up some strawberries, cooked them down with a bit of water and some maple syrup, kind of mushing it about with a spoon. Then I added about a couple tablespoons of ground chia seeds which I'd soaked overnight in water. I kind of always just have this on the go so I have an egg replacement when I want it. Then I added a dash of vanilla extract and put it on some toast. This would also be really, really good on porridge or kind of granola. Yeah, and definitely cold as well, like a jam, a fancy jam. I like to have a bit of space when I'm doing a challenge between meals. So I went for a run, showered, etc., and then it was time. I just had a quarter because it's the first one. Here it is. Chopped it up. I'm going to have it with some mashed potato because there's no FODMAP in that to kind of confuse things. Here we go. It smells so good. I miss garlic. So by about three hours later, I didn't have any symptoms. I was just very hungry. So I set about making lots of potato wedges and snacking on some grapes as I go because I was hungry. I just chop them up into eight, then I'm adding some acetate, cayenne pepper, sage, turmeric, and a bit of salt and some olive oil. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that over and kind of massage it all together and then start lining them up on their backs on the skin side so they've got kind of space to become crispy. And then wash my hands before everything is yellow. And then I'm just popping those in the oven for about 45 minutes at 210 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, I'm gonna make a pepper and chickpea dip. I had about three quarters left to use, but I could have just used the whole one. I sauteed that until it had little bits of black showing on it. I'm gonna put it in a blender along with some chickpeas, which I like to soak in fresh water just so there's a bit less FODMAP in them. This is about one quarter of a cup. I'm gonna pop in there without the water. Then some smoked paprika, some olive oil infused with garlic, and then just a little bit of lemon juice and some toasted sesame seeds. So it's kind of a bit hummusy, but much more pepper, so it's kind of a pepper tip. And yeah, a bit later it was time to get those potato wedges out the oven, looking nice and golden and ready to eat. And I just had those all together. I didn't actually quite finish this in one sitting, Again, along with some spinach for some greens. Otherwise, it's not a complete meal. The recipe is on my website and link below if you'd like it. Okay, for dinner, I made this amazing dish, which is really versatile and I absolutely love it. And it's so quick, so I'm timing it. It's basically, you take some fresh chopped ginger and then I'm going to put in a little tofu, but I've done this with lentils and I've done it with chickpeas and it actually works really well, so it's very, very flexible. I'm sauteing that with a bit of garlic oil, but you could also use coconut oil, and it's very nice. And I'm putting in some pumpkin seeds, but that's, that's also optional, just fancied at this moment. And then I'm finally chopping up some carrots. I couldn't find a peeler, but if I had a peeler, I've done that and it'd be even quicker. And then I've got some choy sum, which is FODMAP free as my green. 
stirring it about and I'm adding in about a tablespoon of kind of dried yeast flakes, pouring in some boiled water, adding in a portion of rice noodles, a good dollop of peanut butter and then some miso paste and then some coconut cream, about a quarter of a cup, then the choice sum and then I put in these vegan mussels low FODMAP um, stock cubes. I just love this recipe so much. And then I had some coriander which I can put on top but it also it's fine without and if I had a lime I would definitely put a, um, a fresh squeeze on. Soy sauce there and then there. 10 minutes, 49 seconds. I faffed with the camera a bit and it would have actually made it less even quicker so fast food, so healthy, so delicious. If you fancy giving this a go I've written up the recipe and linked it in the description below. I love this meal so much, I've made it so many times, it's like it works with whatever you have in the cupboard. And here I am failing to pick up some tofu. Hey, so it's the evening now, it's been a long day and I hope you like those recipes. Um, and I have some very good news for, for myself. I feel fine, I haven't had any symptoms which has been I don't know, I'm so happy, I'm really really glad because I love garlic and now even if it is like I can't tolerate half a clove tomorrow, at the very least I can have the more kind of easier pre-made food, like I could probably buy some marinated smoked tofu and that will be fine or um, I don't know, crisps which have a bit of garlic on, that should be okay. I know going forward in the future it will just make my life a lot easier, so yay. Obviously this does need to be tested, I might be able to have um, garlic just once a day or maybe once every few days but even then I'm very very glad to know that garlic will be part of my life in the future and I hope this um, gives you a bit of hope if you haven't done these challenges yet that you might actually be surprised at what you can tolerate when you have had that kind of low FODMAP calming period. I'd love to know if you've tested garlic yet um, or, if, or if you were like me and you kind of put it off Otherwise, um, please like and subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next Sunday evening with another video on this topic. Bye!